YouTube, here's my face. As Aussie man reviews would say, so I'll keep nicking people's um, taglines. Let me just straighten up my camera because it's really wonky. Um, this is part. Poor preparation produces piss poor performance. Right, this is part. Really? Just part four? Okay, part four of Princess Leia Falcon Girl Sculpture. Shut up. It's supposed to be around there. Rattling about. Annoying the viewers. Now I've got to adjust this again. Yeah, just set that out there. I reckon. Right. As you can see, I've done a little bit more to her. I've refined her creases and ripples in her dress a little bit more. Um, I've just had to fill in some discrepancies around her legs that I need to be addressed at a later date. You might notice I've given her a hood as well. And I've attached the bits of wire for her arms. Just drilled a couple of holes up. This one needed quite a bit of adjusting taken out of here because her arm sort of goes down and then sort of goes uh, vertical sort of thing. But this one has got, got to have quite a bit of this taken off. Um, I've been refining her uh, clothing creases, ripples, I don't know what you call them, um, pleats, plaits, pleats, pleats, um, no, I don't know, I'm not really a woman's clothing expert, even though men's clothing has those as well, but, um, pleated, pleat, pleats, they're not pleats, are they, they're just wrinkles, wrinkle, wrinkle, I don't know, I can't get any bloody words out today, um, some of them look a bit what dodgy and a bit weird, but at the end of the day, she's supposed to be looking a bit, a bit not really of this world because she's a cartoon version of Princess Leia. Even though if I put a proper head of Princess Leia on here, I reckon it would be a very good, well, a pretty good sculpture of Princess Leia. Um, I've just added some clay onto here because the bum cheeks weren't looking quite right, and they need some some material in between them to make it look a bit less well pervy, I don't know. Now I'm just gonna try and get some of the uh, stretch lines particularly well. Um, the thing is, this, this clay is really good to move about when it's starting to go off. You just sort of press a tool in it, it has a nice sort of, it sort of folds over nicely, but when I'm doing it and it's, yep, yeah, excellent, when I'm doing it and it's just fresh, doesn't really react how I want it to. Kind of look okay, they might need a bit of refining when I, when it's she's gone hard. Um, right, all of this detail down the arm is going to be a right pain to do, all of the, she's got, well, I can show you the picture quickly, um, this is my, or is this, that's not even my reference, this is my main reference, but she's got this sort of band down her arm, then this other thing, and then these other bits and pieces. Vader, Schmader, 
don't know how I'm going to do the little wicket Ewok and the lolly stick and the plaster. So I'm going to be on my new scope. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how far I've come with her to be honest and do a little bit. I think she's going to turn out good enough. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the, how she's come out so far. I've got to make a gun as well. That's going to be a right pain. The, uh, the, the ends of her gloves, you know, the bit that you put your hands in, they're going to be a right pain. Um, also, I've got some uh, bits and pieces here. I was going to have a, a, you can't see it in the picture, but I was going to have a big old gun of some kind. So I've got these bits and pieces here I could use just sort of resting up by her side because she's going to be a, a badass, no holes barred, kick you in the teeth, Princess Leia. And there's some little grenades here. I don't think I'm going to be using this belt. Although it's quite a nice belt, it does actually fit, sort of. I might have to uh, rethink that. I wasn't intending on using it. I might have to slim my waist down quite a lot. Use this belt. I can move the grenades about a bit. That's the main reason why I got it out actually, it was just because I want to use the grenades around here, the bit that you can't see in the picture. Because they've got kind of grenade attachments which wouldn't be there because they'd be going straight inside the grenades. But the belt has got a little pouch on it like she has on her. They're all quite weird looking pouches actually, I think they stick out too far but I'm going to do my own version of it. Yeah, I may well use that. Right, I'm kind of jabbing my finger into this wet clay. I shouldn't be doing that. So I can't touch her anymore until that bit's gone dry, gone hard. My mate was saying to me, um, you know, why do you spend so long doing your things? You go on to one thing and then another thing and then another thing. Well, it's for exactly this reason. I'll stomp you as I start touching them all over and start moving about bits of clay that I've just put on. Models need paint drying and glue drying and etc. etc. So that's why I'm doing so many different bits and pieces at the same time and what I've got on at the moment I'm still doing Drogon that's going to take all year I think May and April although I will try and try my best to have a go on him every day um, add a bit of clay every day glue something on every day a bit of carving every day on it and I've got three space shuttles on the go at the moment I've just finished my Boba Fett Slave 1 so I'm not going to open up another, that's not another slot open because I, will, I was doing one, one space shuttle then it turned into two space shuttles and now it's three space shuttles. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. Those that are interested in Princess Leia might not be into space shuttles and Drogon and, and this Boba, or Boba Fett Slave one probably. But anyway, I hope you liked the video and please like and subscribe if you did. Please leave some feedback in the form of a comment. Please share to someone you might think you might want to watch the video as well. Um, and I'll see you in the next um, Falcon Girl video, which will be part five. Uh, I think there's going to be definitely less than ten parts in this series. But anyway, take care out there in the still the Coronaverse. Um, um, have a nice day.